Okay, Google Classroom has multiple types of assignments that you can use with your students. To access these assignments, um, starting this year, you had to use the Classwork tab. So I'm on my Classwork tab. Normally I'm on the stream, but now I'm on the Classwork, and I click on Create. So very quickly, the first one is Assignment. It's exactly how it sounds. This is where you would put in um, the homework or whatever your kid's doing, as well as the instructions. You can also, over here, you can choose multiple classes to assign them to there. And then also, you can actually choose which students. If I click on this, I could only assign it to maybe these three students. So that's really nice. I can change this to ungraded at this point. I can give it a due date over here. Okay, so let's say next Friday. Um, I highly recommend don't not putting times, but that's just my personal preference. I know some people like putting midnight, but I personally don't want students staying up till almost midnight to so that they can quick uh, cram this assignment in. You can actually add the topics here as well. So I can create a new topic if I want. I can add a rubric over here. But then if over on this side, I can either add or create, so I can add links or um, files or a YouTube uh, video, or I can create those things inside here as far as from the Google Suite. So if I click on Add in Google Drive, I'm going to select, let's see, here is a copy of a Hyperdoc. After I select that, I can choose my options over here. Right now, the student can view this file. So maybe I have, want them to read an article that I have in uh, Google Doc and then submit a reflection. I could do that. Um, I can have them edit the file. If I'm doing some sort of collaborative slide where everyone's getting a slide number, they can all go on and edit that one document. Or maybe it's just a brainstorming. You're sending it to, when we went over here, that these three are a group, so I'm gonna send this group this particular file. So it's gonna be their brainstorming document. Or the most popular is make a copy for each student. So when they click on this, they'll now get their own copy for them to turn in. So when I click on Assign, I now have assigned it to those three students. So that is Assignment. The other options inside Google Classroom are Quiz Assignment. Quiz Assignment is basically a Google form. So here I can have a blank quiz, or I can go in and I can add my own quiz that I already have created. I don't think I have anything created here, but... Um, I would have to go home, through and find a Google form that I would have created, and I could put that in as well. You can turn locked mode on for Chromebooks. We have had some issues. It seems like there are some freezing issues, so just keep that in mind when doing that. Um, and same, all things apply over here as well. You can do the same exact thing. And something I didn't say on the last one is you can actually schedule this. So you could schedule it to come out on Monday, and you could do that right, right away. Um, so that would be your quiz assignment they would be taking a Google form quiz. Question. So I can ask my students a question and I could do either a multiple choice question or I could do a short answer question. Right here, um, I could get, say ask or answer this question and respond to two classmates. So you can turn it on over here that students can reply to each other and students can edit their answer. That is naturally off. Um, you don't want people replying to something and agreeing with it and then having the student, the original student, quick editing it to make it look like the other person agreed with something that they may not have. So I usually keep that feature off. And again, all the same resources over here. Same idea, I can schedule this and I could schedule this for, let's say, Monday at 9 a.m. Schedule and now that'll come out on Monday at 9 a.m. Um, the final thing here is material. Material is anything that you want to give students that they're not going to have to turn in. Things that you want to have them access. So maybe it is a YouTube video. If I type in here, I can, you can actually search. Um, so like one of my favorite is Crash Course for Kids. Um, this is PBS, Crash Course for Kids. So if I want to find chemical changes right here. I can add that in there as a resource. I can add in files and links. These things would not be things that they actually have to manipulate. These would be, or create, these would be actually consumables. 
So things that we want them to use as resources. And again, uh, let's see, resources. I'm just going to post it. The final things you'll see under create are topics, which I showed you, you can create that inside there, but that's these topics were created, new formative assessment and CK12 and FET. Um, and reuse post. Reuse post is really cool because if I'm doing something from a different class and I wanna bring in something that let's say I created in the EPSD ed tech classroom, say it's a class dojo post, I wanna reuse that here. I just found that post, clicked on reuse, and now it's in there, and I just click post. So you're able to reuse those posts from multiple things. So that the, again, the types of assignments, just a quick overview. Assignment would be something the student has to actually submit. You do not have to have attachments on there. You can have them just submit their essay and they can open up a Google Doc, start typing when they're done, turn it in. Um, quiz assignment is a Google form. So that would be something that could be graded and would then go over here to grades. Question would be kind of like, a, I want you to think of it as a discussion board. So you could have a discussion based off of one question. They have to answer that one question. A material are resources that they can use. I hope that helps sum up the different types of assignments in Google Classroom.